Sag. Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Um, this will be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, wherever that may resonate at in your chart. Um, keep in mind, energy is fluid. You can flip any of the roles at any time. And also, remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Um, these readings are timeless, so whenever you find these readings, whenever you resonate with it, um, it should resonate with you, empower you, uh, help confirm things, and help you step into your highest alignment here. So, Sagittarius, I usually pull a few oracle cards to connect to your energy. A lot popped out here. And it's a very clear message right now that my Sages are sort of going through what looks to be some shadow work right now. I see a lot of grief and anguish here. Um, this is, I feel like uh, the universe sort of using your relationships at this moment to trigger some things within you, within your soul, right? To bring about some sort of renewal, all right? But I feel there is some resistance here and I feel like this is causing, um, causing things to be a little bit rough. So we're gonna look into the tarot and uh, see what message Spirit has for you. We also have this Underworld card here. So I feel like this is a lot of these lower frequencies, right? Um, as we're ascending, as we are leveling up spiritually, you guys, and we are on our path, um, every time we sort of step into a new level, right? There's a new devil, they say new level, new devil. So I do feel like that is what is going on for you, Sagittarius. You are sort of being tempted right now and tested. I said, I heard, tempted but i meant tested you're being tested by these lower frequencies so um stay rooted in your truth right now do not let this energy sort of take you over don't do anything on either end of the spectrum too crazy or overthink anything too much right now this is about sort of walking the middle path staying grounded and uh moving forward so we're going to get into this tarot see what you have past present future mother father divine holy spirit um, guardian angels, what messages do we have for my Sagittarius here for their highest good to help empower them, right? To help confirm things for them, to help them step into their highest alignment on their soul's path. What do we have here in the recent past for my Sagittarius? Wow, we're just going to take a couple of these. Any clarity for that since you wanted to, wow, big energy here, Sagittarius. What do we have in my Sagittarius current energy? A lot of conflict right now, you guys. A lot of conflict. But here is what sh Spirit's showing me, that things sort of need to, like the diamond under pressure, the clam pearl under the gritty sand sort of energy. What do we have coming in for my Sagittarius? Um, you guys, this is big energy though. Wow, 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 wow. So I'm gonna look at this Four of Wands as an 1111, as a energetic portal, right? Where we are realizing all of our choices, we're really, all of this stuff coming to the surface right now, right? All stems from some sort of choice that we've made, right? And I feel like all of this is coming to the surface right now. In your recent past, Sag, we've got the world We've got judgment in the Ace of Pentacles. So the universe coming in to offer you a brand new beginning, right? Abundant, stable, um, fulfilling beginning here. I feel like you have come to a big realization here, Sag. Having a big time spiritual awakening here. Um, realizing that sort of everything happens for a reason and has guided you to right where you're at for this reason, right? I see you taking action and moving forward, but I see a lot of conflict, inner conflict, and maybe conflict around you right now, Sag. But ultimately, Spirit is saying anywhere that there is any imbalances, anywhere that anything is unaligned right now, it's sort of coming to light. So that way we can take action and move forward from these things. Right, Sagittarius? Um, I'm hearing renewal. This is a renewal. So you're, you're, you're being, I feel like a contract renewal is also what I'm hearing. So maybe stepping into a new contract here, a new soul contract. We're going to actually grab some out of this other deck we're gonna grab some clarification on your past and what is this judgment in this world card what is this it's two of swords so it's some sort of choice some sort of blockages right that were present in your energy here sagittarius i see you sort of taking that sort of intellect making that decision to cut these things away out 
Yep, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in both decks. So really, the, the universe saying um, any sort of toxic energy here, anything that wasn't working out is how I'm hearing it, um, was brought right to the light. This is causing a lot of anxiety, maybe some fear, sadness, right? Conflict. Um, but ultimately, this is going to bring in a beautiful balance here and wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Right, so I'm getting a big message for you, Sag, to sort of stay behind the scenes right now. Don't uh, sort of don't tell anybody your next move right now. You know, surprise yourself. Even I'm hearing, um, and really, in your incoming energy, I see you really gaining this clarity. This is a huge lesson learned. We go from the page to the to the queen, so we step into this sort of energy where you are starting to realize that you ha you have this connection with spirit with your spirit guides with your intuition sad and i see you growing in this like right off rip i see you starting to listen to it and i see you being like boom 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 with all these epiphanies and sort of taking this sword and, and being like you're not working you're not helping me grow you're not aligned you're not aligned on that Oprah tip, right? Like you get to go, you get to go. That's how I see you doing it. It feels like it's a lot of situations here, Sagittarius, um, that were sort of steering you away or blocking, literally blocking your wish fulfillment, blocking your happiness. So I see all of this clarity coming in here. And then we've got these, this is that soul growth, right? This is you reflecting all of these situations deciding which ones are for your highest good which ones aren't and then here's that transformation right here right on the bottom of this deck here we've got the eight of pentacles and on the bottom of this deck we've got the seven of cups so this is you making the decision to step into this heart chakra healing this heart chakra activation to fully focus on yourself sagittarius i see maybe some of you taking classes reading books, learning, taking courses, maybe Reiki, tarot, astrology, um, maybe even for your job, sort of getting certifications and stuff like that. I'm seeing cooking. I'm also hearing somebody's getting some sort of uh, uh, upgraded license, right? This is stepping it up and really putting the energy and focus on yourself, Sagittarius, so that way you can work toward this wish fulfillment, right? And I'm also seeing some sort of offer coming your way, maybe um, in love or maybe an apology or some sort of communication, right? Um, I'm seeing you right here, High Priestess, Hermit, Six of Pentacles. Um, the Hermit is the Serenity card here. The High Priestess is the Divine Feminine. You guys stepping fully into this psychic energy. My Sagittarius, a lot of whoever I'm reading for, whoever I'm connected to, you're very connected to the spiritual realm. You might even be like a medium or a psychic or just very, very intuitive. I see you sort of fully connected to your crown chakra right now, to the ethers and sort of being able to hear what it is your guides are telling you. I see you putting it all into perspective and being like, oh, right? This is a card about meditation, contemplation, prayer. Um, it's also the ending of a major life cycle here. And it's you taking all of this wisdom and integrating it, moving forward into this energy of balance with this justice card. You are stepping onto your path of destiny is how I'm hearing it, Sag. And spirit wants you to know anything you put into this right now you're going to get out tenfold this is also um abundance headed your way this is relationships headed your way where people are giving you what you're giving in the relationship instead of just take 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 and for a lot of you somebody trying to control you right this is the universe sending you individuals who are part of your soul tribe who have genuine love for you who genuinely want to see you do good right and i see you doing everything in your power to move toward this energy right nine of pentacles this is all of your hard work paying off sagittarius this is you listening to your higher guidance and then taking that action these are both major arcana the high priestess and the magician you guys listen to your higher guidance right now your downloads during meditation matter of fact sagittarius keep a pen and paper with you for the next week or two even if it's a little pad of paper and any sort of in intuitive epiphanies realizations ideas anything like that that you are getting 
from the astral realm. Write it down, okay? You are the magician. You are a co-creator of your reality. This is spirit. This is Gemini energy. This is spirit letting us know of Pisces, Gemini, Gemini energy that you are gaining, getting, gaining this clarity, getting these messages from the ethers and that also your own thoughts are sort of like a magnet. So being mindful of where your mind is at and sort of what you're thinking because that, the, the energy that your thoughts are radiating out of your mind at is the same sort of energy, vibrational frequency that your energy is gonna come back and your, your reality is gonna manifest into. So positive affirmations, right? I am loved, I am wise, I am powerful, I am gifted, I am amazing. Um, positive affirmations and then also speaking into existence what it is that you want to come to fruition. Sagittarius, this is really going back to the drawing board, writing these things down. What does my ideal future look like? What does my ideal love look like, right? And then taking this, this action as you're being guided. Do not hold yourself back here. Do not overthink these things. This is about staying guarded, setting up healthy boundaries and taking that action, right? Toward, right here, towards your 10 of cups. Toward what you've been waiting so long for, Sagittarius. So, amazing message. We're going to look into your heart space. Check these Romance Angels cards out. Um, Mother, Father, Holy Spirit. What do we have for my Sagittarius in their heart space, right? For their highest good to help them step into divine alignment on their soul's journey here. What do they need to hear? What messages do you have for my Sagittarius right now? in love, These romance angels. We've got give your relationship a chance. And we've also got this pay attention. You guys, whoa. So these same two cards came out the exact same way in the Scorpio reading, okay? And I do shuffle between every reading. I also clear the energy with incense and with sound. Um, so maybe this is just a sort of theme going on right now, you guys, but pay attention to your gut, to your instincts, to your intuition right now. There is people, persons, situations around you that are not there for your highest good. This may be sort of a test from spirit to see how well you are going to follow your intuition here. For somebody, we've got um, give your relationship a chance out here. We've also got express your love. So clear communication. Um, what else? It is safe for you to love. Yep, worth waiting for. Divine love is at work. Or divine timing is at work in your love life here. What else for my Sagittarius? And then for some of you, you've got new love, true love coming in, right? So this is really about releasing what's no longer serving you, moving away from all of these situations that are draining you, that are taking from you, that are hindering your growth, that are hindering your blessings, and really stepping into your alignment here on your path of destiny is how I'm hearing it, Sagittarius. So we're going to check out one of these sacred power oracle cards and then we'll tap out or maybe two of these cards we've got animal kingdom so really pay attention you guys to the signs from the animals that are sort of coming across your path right now each animal holds a certain vibration holds a certain message right so i feel like spirit is sending you messages via maybe animals in your dreams in your meditations or even in real life so be very mindful right now of what's going on for you there. We've got this self-love card, taking care of yourself, staying hydrated, you know, getting plenty of rest. But then you guys, the magician again. So big time, big time confirmation about these positive affirmations and also speaking these things into existence. Um, continuing to work on yourself, but speaking this wish fulfillment, nine and ten of cups, speaking that into existence, spirit is saying it will in fact or indeed come your way. Also, um, using these healing frequency sounds right now, you guys, and binaural beats and stuff like that are really going to free up some of these energetic blockages in your um, aura. So see if spirit has any other messages for you in this keepers of the light for my sages please spirit 
things for my sag. Definitely writing down the, a list of things of your manifestations and, and speak it, affirm it, that it is yours, that it is coming, that you are healed, that these things are released, all of that. Your words hold so much power, Sagittarius. Call to action. <clears throat> Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. We've got devotion. We've got Krishna out here. Paul the Venetian experiencing grace. This is you sharing your gifts with grace. This is you getting these waves of inspiration and love. Um, and these obstacles being removed from your path, Sagittarius, so you can seriously step into your abundance. I'm also feeling a big burst of um, energy coming your way. So spirit really wants you to take advantage of that. Make sure you're not getting caught on any of these lower frequencies in this lower vibration. Any of these demonic energies or these forces of attachment or these draining energies, it's really time to steer away from them and love yourself, Sagittarius. And um, look, I see nothing but abundance. I see tons of abundance coming your way. Um, so that is what I have for you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box below. Um, also, my, I have a grounding, uh, a protection ritual, and invoking your angel ritual. You guys, these things can all help very much so along your path. So check out my playlist, Know Thyself, okay? And check those videos out if you are interested in any tools that will help you stay grounded and ascend, transcend. Um, these frequencies because this these shifts are not easy for anybody to go through so breath work meditation affirmations things like that mantras healing frequencies these things all help tremendously so i hope this message helps you in some way um, and i hope to see you on the next one